everyone, so I hope that this lighting isn't too bothersome because to me it looks a little bit yellowish, orangish, but hopefully it's not that bad. But I'm going to show you all the things that I bought from Shimamura. If you guys want to check out my journey there, you guys can click right here. And if you're coming from that video, then welcome because I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. So the first couple things that I'll show you are the leggings just because I stuck a bunch of them in my basket and I narrowed it down to the cheapest ones because I know that I'll be going there again and I don't want to waste money on something that will probably go down in price over time. So I really like getting these stirrup leggings which, which has the toes and the ankle open and I like wearing them in like summer and spring and fall where you want to wear open toed shoes but you also want to cover your legs a little bit, but you also want to wear like shorts or mini skirt or something like that. Because I really don't like wearing jeans. Like I, I avoid jeans as much as possible. So I really like wearing leggings in place of them. So these are a pair of stirrup leggings with a z not zebra. What is this called? Cheetah print. And then I bought another pair. Oh, actually, these are all tights. I bought another pair of stirrup leggings that I already wore, so it's out of the packaging. But on the back ankle, it has this, like, on the Achilles heel, and I thought that was so cute. It's like a ribbon with three studs, pink studs. And then the rest are all tights, so I got these fishnet tights, but they have stars as, like, a little design. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And then I got this. These are just tights with like a gray plaid kind of design running through them. And then lastly I got this which is just a pair of orange tights. Pretty simple. And all of those were 190 yen and then this is 150 yen. And then next I got these two things. These are eyelashes, fake eyelashes. And this brand is really popular in like magazines and stuff so I wanted to try it out because I've never had it. I've never tried it before. And the only bad thing about this is that it doesn't come with an eyelash glue, but I already have like the big, big, what is this called, like tube of a duo, so it doesn't really matter, but I wanted to see if they had an um, eyelash glue in here. So these are called the fairy, yeah, fairy eyes, and it's, there's less eyelashes on the inside and then more on the outside, so it's supposed to look a little bit more natural and give you like a fairy effect on your eyelashes. There's a lot more that are like cat eyes or like um, little devil eyes. It's called kuakuma, but I mean it sounds really bad in English, but it means like you know those kind of like flirtatious kind of girls with like the baddie eyelashes and stuff. Anyway, so I got this for 880 yen. So whenever I'll try these I'll probably let you know, see how they look. And then I got this nail set. Thing. And this is actually really cute. I really like this. It comes with a blue nail polish, a pink nail polish, and a white nail polish. And then it comes with this dot machine, machine, what? Tool thing. And it has like a tip at the top and the bottom. And you can make little tiny dots on your nails. So let me zoom in on my nails right now and I will show you what I mean. So here are my nails. My cousin, my baby cousin, she's like four or five. She actually did the white part for me. So they are a little bit irregular and stuff but I really like how they came out and I've been wearing these nails for probably five four or five days and they haven't chipped at all which is amazing because I did not use a top coat so I bought this for 670 yen which I think is pretty reasonable for getting three nail polishes and this tool right here I'm pretty sure you could use like the end of a toothpick if you wanted to but I just wanted to see if this works or not and let you guys know so I'll probably do a separate review of this coming up later. But for now I really do love these nail polishes because they haven't chipped on me too much. So, And then the next three things that I got are clothing items because you know I love clothes so much. So this is the first shirt that I got and it's a lavender shirt with like a bunny on it and just random English words because Japanese people love random English words. And I actually got this in a size LL, which is an extra large in Japan. Um, Shimamura started at size M and then went up to 4L. And I'm actually a small, so I didn't fit a lot of their clothes. And it was really hard for me to find clothes that did fit. But I do like wearing t-shirts really baggy, so this was fine for me getting in an LL. 
And I just thought it was so cute because the bunny was so cute. So I had to get it. <laughs> this was 970 yen. And then the next thing that I got is this dress right here. This is really hard to show, so... It looks like this. There's two parts to it. The under... There's like two dresses, basically. The under dress is a blue plaid... Blue gingham check thing. And it has a little tool at the bottom, which is really cute because it peeks out from under this white lacy one. And then the top one is like a white frilly dress. So this is a blue dress. Well, actually it's a white dress, but I'll just... Okay, this is really hard to explain. This is the under part of the dress, like the bottom part. It's two layers and it's a blue plaid kind of checkered thing. And then it has tulle at the bottom, which is really pretty or chiffon at the bottom, I guess. And then the top part of this dress, or the top layer, is like this. It's a really pretty white, or cream kind of, with like different parts of lace on the sleeves and then down the sides, or down the front. It's like um, paneling of chiffon and lace. So I thought it was really pretty. And this is a size M. It is a little bit big, but these kind of things you can just like scrunch in the middle with a belt and it'll be fine. So I was just like, okay, whatever. Plus it was on sale for 970 yen. Okay, and then the next thing that I got is this jacket right here. And it is really hot in Japan. Um, if you guys don't know, it's like really humid in Asia or most Asian countries. Like Korea was really humid, Japan was really humid. So I'm just assuming that all Asian countries are kind of humid. But it's not that hot, it's probably like 85, 90 degrees, but the humidity makes it a lot hotter. So you might be wondering why I got like a long sleeve jacket, but it was on sale and I really like like the different parts of this. So like the cuffs, if you start rolling them up, there's a little print on the inside, so I thought that was really cute. And then there's a hood that you can take off so you can make it... Uh, more or less casual depending on how you wear it because if you take the hood off it'll be a little bit more like businessy attire I guess and then lastly it has this little pin thing that you can take off take off if you want to because it's attached by like a pin thing in the back and all of those just made it really cute I thought and then the price it was only 700 yen so freaking amazing and I'm just really excited to wear this in the fall because I obviously can't wear it now oh I, I also love these buttons I like anything kind of like military inspired and I thought it was really pretty so I'll talk to you guys later and 